So get this. Nietzsche's philosophy is entirely contingent upon his eternal recurrence theorem. Today, I want to share with you something a philosophy professor some time ago shared with me. A very, very simple and interesting proof for how the eternal recurrence theorem is practical in a realistic sense. Which is a strange thought because the eternal recurrence theorem is more of an abstract thought experiment. But, if we were to think about it in practical terms, there are two factors to consider. If the amount of time in the universe is infinite and unbounded, but the amount of matter in the universe is finite. So imagine all of the matter in the known universe here contained in this space, okay? It can only reconfigure itself and shuffle around so many times until on this infinite timeline, the matter comes back to this exact moment over and over again. Once again, assuming the conditions of finite matter and infinite time. In the same way that a lot of cosmologists think that the universe comes and goes. It exists for a period of time. We're experiencing this iteration of existence and then the universe will collapse and then restart up again. So there is some grounding in physics and cosmology for this idea, though I personally am not completely sold on it. It's nice to think about. So Nietzsche's takeaway is live this moment such that you would want to experience it over and over again. As in make it worthwhile, silly people. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, you should subscribe to my channel to see more. And if you'd like to take our relationship to the next level, you can go to Amazon right now and check out my books. This is the latest one. It is a nonfiction book on techniques for consciousness change and expansion called The Alternative Wrong. I hope I've left you better than when I found you.